Good morning, travelers. Last night was meh at this hotel as we kind of thought it would be. Being so close to the train station was kind of sucky mm. because the trains ran like late into the night and started early in the morning. And then like we had no air, air conditioning, which shouldn't be a problem in November, but it was kind of stuffy in here. Mm -hmm. So we had to open the window, which made the noise outside louder. So not the best hotel experience, but it is what it is. Today we are heading to Yamadera. It's about an hour train ride from Sendai Station, so we're gonna hop on that and we'll see you in Yamadera. Ready to go do some hiking? I'm ready to go do some hiking. Up there is the temple. You have to climb a thousand steps to get to the top. This is the train station that you come to, Yamagata. So you have to walk through this really cute little little town. Um, there's tons of omiyage shops and restaurants. Um, just really, really like quaint little little town. One thing that hasn't changed from the last time that we were here is there's this like steady stream of people that are walking to the entrance to go up to the top of the mountain. So we've made it to the first set of stairs. The first of many. To get to the top of Yamadera Temple, you have to walk up over 1,000 steps. And Yamadera literally means mountain temple. So we're making our way to the top, starting with this first step. If you're worried about making the trek up the 1,000 steps, don't worry, because it's really not that bad. The steps aren't that steep. Um, it's definitely doable. And you can kind of take a break in between them too, so it's really not that bad. There are definitely worse hikes. It's not really a hike, it's just a walk. And just like that, the first set is over. Once you finish that first set of stairs, you come to like the first main temple area. I think the colors are a lot better this, this time around oh, than definitely. last year. I mean, even like this tree. I'm not sure what kind of tree this is. You know what kind of tree this is? Hmm, I'm not sure. Leave a comment in the section below what, uh, what kind of tree this is. Yeah, you can kind of instantly tell that it's fall here. I mean, there's still a lot of green around, but there are some trees that have turned orange, and it's really, really beautiful here. So if you've never heard of konyaku, it's like this ball. It looks, it's almost like gelatin. Um, like really chewy and they boil it and then they like put um, soy sauce flavoring and other flavorings on it. I'm not a huge fan of it but if you come here be prepared to smell and see a ton of konyaku. So we have arrived at this second set of stairs. As you can see it does cost 300 yen to climb up to the top. Definitely not expensive. Totally worth it. Here's your ticket, which they don't ever check, but right there to get inside the gate. Taking a snack break, refueling. 
Dun dun dun! Made it to the temporary top of the stairs. Oh, that's just a celebratory dance. This view is incredible. We climbed so many steps, and the end is just gorgeous. Look at those colors. <laughs> now we've made it to the top. Oh, this is the money shot right here. This makes the 300 yen worth it right here. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is it. And there's the train station where we started. We walked right down that street, walked over this way, came down that street along with that bridge, and then made our way up the mountain. Not a difficult climb at all. Pretty easy. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's a half hour, but we took our time. Caleb's gonna have time to see just how long it takes to get down. We didn't really time our walk up. We're kind of taking our time, taking it slow. I want to say it took us like half an hour. If you're visiting Sendai, this is a great day trip. Last year when we came, we spent a night in Yamagata and it just wasn't worth it. A day trip is really all you need. Something we didn't show you on the way up, but we're gonna stop at now on the way down, is this wall over here. This is the Midahora, or as I like to call it, the corn wall. Well. Hundred coins. Yeah, you can see all these coins on the wall, stuck in there in different crevices. Mm. Nice, right there. Oh! oh. <laughs> Just put it like in there. You should put it in there. Oh, he really wants it in the rock. I think it's gonna fall. Now that I think about it, we may have just <laughs> made an offering like to some Buddhist that. god, but... <laughs> and like most places here in Japan, there are quite a few people, especially because it's a holiday weekend. I keep forgetting, it's only Saturday. It feels like Sunday. It's yesterday, we had the day off. Okay, we've made it down the mountain. And the time is... 11.48. Took us 14 minutes to go from the top to the bottom with the one small stop at the coin wall. Not bad at all. That was delicious. Lunch was awesome with a great view of the river and the mountains. Now it is time to go home. So after lunch we were invited inside of an old Yamadera hotel because it's been raining. Just kind of all of a sudden came out of nowhere, just kind of started downpouring. So we were waiting out under the eaves of the old, this old hotel and this kind lady invited us in for some tea and just to kind of sit down and stay out of the rain. The train doesn't come for another about 25 minutes yeah. so we're just kind of <laughs> hanging out here. They've turned this old Yamadera hotel into kind of a museum kind of showcasing 
this uh, Mr. Yuki's works of art. These are all old Yamagata style houses, hand drawn. So they just kind of display his works of art and kind of show off. Probably have some different meetings here and stuff as well. These probably all used to be old rooms. So they'd have, this is probably like a room outdoor facing. And that was another room and that was another room. So pretty cool. This was a hotel that was operated from the mid 1700s up until recently in 2007. So once we finish up this tea and then get on the train, we're just gonna head back home. But we're gonna end the vlog here. We hope that you enjoyed watching this vlog about Yamadera and the mountain temple. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe because we put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. And we will see you next time with a new adventure.